Hi, I'm Dan with Intermatic's Technical Support Team. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to program the EJ500C for a fixed schedule. I'm going to choose 5 p.m. on and 10 p.m. off for this demonstration. Let's get started. You'll want to flip down the door to expose the buttons. The first thing we'll need to do is press and hold the next on-off button. While holding the next on-off button, we'll need to use a pencil to press and hold the reset button for three seconds. Release the reset button and continue to hold the next on-off an additional three. This will clear any stored information from the timer's memory. Now we'll press the mode button until we see the year flashing. We'll use the year plus key to set our current year. Once you have your year selected, we'll press the next button that will display the date. We'll use the M plus key to display our current month. Once you have the month set, you can use the day button to select your current day. After you have the day set, you'll press the next button, which will move you to your DST selection. If you use Daylight Savings Time where you live, you'll want to make sure that you have Auto selected. If you do not use Daylight Savings Time, you'll want to press the Day DST button to display Manual. We're done with setting the year and the date on the timer, so now we can press the Mode button to display our clock to set our current time. Use the bottom middle button, the Hour button, to select your current hour. Make sure you pay attention to AM and PM and select the appropriate one for your time of day. Once you have the hour set, you can use the M plus button to set your current minutes. Once you have the minutes selected, we'll press the mode button to display PGM at the top of the screen for program. You'll notice there's a number one on in the right hand side of the screen telling us that we're programming our first on event. We'll need to press the day button one time to display all the days of the week at the bottom of the screen. Then we'll use our hour button until we see 5 p.m. Once 5 p.m. is displayed, you could use the minute key if you want to adjust and set the minutes. In this example, I'm going to leave it at 5 p.m., so I'll press the next button to move to my off event. You'll notice there's a number one off on the right hand side of the screen telling us that we're programming our first off event. We'll press the day button once to display all the days of the week and a time in the screen. Now we'll use our hour button to set the time to 10 p.m. Once you have your off time selected, you can use the minute key to adjust the minutes if you like. In this example, I'm going to use 10 p.m. Once you have your off time set, you can press the mode button to display auto with your local time of day, and you're done programming the timer. When you close the door, make sure that you press it lightly as you may turn your lights on. If you do turn your lights on, just press the door once more to turn the lights back off. And that concludes our demonstration of programming the EJ500C for a fixed schedule. For more information about our products, please visit us online at www.intermatic.com.